This is Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure RAID on a Perk H310 uh, RAID controller. Um, now, we're doing this install on an actual Dell Precision Workstation, um, but the same rules will apply if you have a PowerEdge server. Um, so, if you've never heard of GreenPCGamers.com, you should definitely check it out. Uh, we run a blog site. We upgrade uh, engineering workstations to optimize them for gaming or other high-end computing. Um, in your case, if you're watching this video, you probably either have a T3600, a T5600, or a T7600. All you have to do is go search articles. Uh, for example, search T7600, and it'll bring you to an awesome page that gives you a bunch of ideas on how to upgrade your Precision T7600. So enough of that. Let's get to the actual video. Um, so the Perk H310, um, it is, again, typically used in a Precision T3600, 5600, or 7600, or some other PowerEdge servers. Um, it's a PCI Express interface. It's 6 gig per second throughput. It supports SAS or SATA drives. Um, you just can't mix them per RAID configuration. Uh, it supports RAID 0, 1, 5, 10, or 50, depending on how many drives you have installed. Uh, it's two internal SAS SFF8087 ports, and it utilizes the LSI SAS 2008 chipset. So, um, if you don't know what RAID configuration you're going to use, we're going to go into that a little bit here. Um, common RAID configurations would be uh, RAID 0, which is one or more drives. There's no redundancy for that. And RAID 1 is two drives. That's mirroring. That's probably the most popular configuration you'll see on an H310. Uh, RAID 5 is three or more drives, which is striping. RAID 10 would be if you have four or more drives installed, and that's a combination of mirroring or striping. So depending on how many drives you plan to install, you can decide, you know, what you're going to do as far as your RAID configuration. And you can mess around with it in the RAID utility. It will tell you exactly how much native storage you're going to get. All right, so in post, as you can see, uh, we have to go in and click Control-R. We'll go back a little bit so you can see it again. Um, if you go back, the hotkey is Control-R. That'll take you into your RAID utility. So this is the H310 RAID utility. As you can see, we have two 4 terabyte drives installed. Uh, they partitioned down to 3.7 terabyte. But So we're going to go back and uh, we're going to hit F2 on the top where it says Perk H310 adapter. Hit F2 on that. And then in here, we're going to see our RAID utility. So... We only have two drives installed, so it's only going to show us RAID 0 or 1 because those are the only two RAID configurations that are available to us. If you have uh, more drives installed, it will show you, you know, uh, RAID 5 or 10 or 50. Um, typically on a precision, you're not going to see that. So probably RAID 5 or 10. If you, so you can decide um, what RAID configuration you're going to use. We're going to do RAID 1, and so we're going to select that, and then we're going to hit space bar to select both drives. That'll put a little X right there. And then we're going to name our virtual disk RAID 1. You can name it whatever you want. Um, go, ahead, go ahead to advanced settings, hit spacebar on it. And then we're going to choose to initialize. And then we're going to go ahead and hit OK and exit. Now we see our RAID 1 volume is available now. So at this point, we are ready to load our operating system. All right, so here's something that's really important. We installed drives uh, in a RAID 1 configuration, two 4 terabyte drives. So, and so our, our virtual disk is going to be larger than 2 terabyte. If you're going to do a virtual disk larger than 2 terabyte with Windows, you have to go into your boot settings and change it to UEFI. If you don't do it, it's only going to give you 2 terabyte usable once you load Windows. So it's a pain. You want to do it now instead of later because otherwise you're going to have to reinstall your operating system. So we're going to show you exactly how to do that. So you have to reboot your system and then uh, tap F2 when prompted. That's going to bring you into what's called uh, the system setup. So go into boot sequence and select UEFI and then click apply. All right, once you do that, you can go ahead and exit. And it's as simple as that. Um, so now um, we fast forward a little bit. Now we have Windows installed. Um, so we're just going to go into our disk management and make sure that our drive is showing, you know, the full, almost four terabyte usable. And it should because we set it up in UEFI. If we didn't, it would only give us two terabyte. 
Um, and it's great. We're seeing a recovery partitions, but we're also seeing uh, 3.7, 24 terabyte um, available. So everything is working perfectly. Um, hopefully this video was helpful to you. Um, if it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, also, um, find us on Facebook. Uh, we do monthly giveaways for uh, computer equipment or other, other peripherals. Um, all you have to do is like Green PC Gamers on Facebook to qualify for those monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for watching.